Please welcome our host for AFI's 100 Years 100 Movie Quotes, Pierce Brosnan. Tonight, movie lovers, we're talking to you. We're gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. We're gonna go ahead and make your day. Because we're here on behalf of the American Film Institute to honor the 100 greatest movie quotes in American film. These are lines born on a blank page. The writer gives them life and an actor gives them a voice. But it's you who ultimately embraces them and adopts them as your own. Movie quotes capture something special about a film, something we often want to share with our closest friends. It's like a, a secret language for those of us who have seen the movie, a special bond, you might say. There are some quotes, though, that allow us all to be in the club. They're quoted and re-quoted so often, and by so many, that they become part of a language we all share. And that's why we're here tonight, to find out from all the phrases in American film which are the greatest and why. To find the answer, the AFI rounded up the usual suspects, filmmakers and scholars from across the land to fold on the possibilities. And tonight, we winnow them down to 100 and finally to number one. So, pour yourself a martini. You know how I like it. And toast the writer, for tonight, the writer is king. And it's good to be the king. Which brings us to number 100. My name is Pussy Galore. I must be dreaming. James Bond was always about violence that's not really harmful and sex that's not really explicit. So it was basically the, as much fun as you can possibly have with your clothes on. Can I do something for you, Mr. Bond? Uh, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Medium dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. A martini, shaken, not stirred. It's an elegant line. You have to be in a tuxedo to read that line. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. And for you? The same. How do you take it? Straight up, with a twist. The first time I ever ordered one, it, it tasted bad. I was like, man, you better put, put some juice. Ain't no Coca-Cola going here or nothing. No 7-Up. Never share this stage with children or animals. This good advice was given to actors by W.C. Fields, who knew how effortless it was for them to steal the scene. Children are even more menacing, particularly when they're armed with one of the greatest lines in American film. What could be up ahead? Crews and Eastwood and Hanks, oh my! As AFI's 100 Years, 100 Movie Quotes continues here on CBS. We're halfway home, and as we know, there's no place like it. But sorry, Pierce, we haven't done that one yet. Oh, we haven't done that one yet. My apologies. Tonight is, without question, a tip of the hat to the writer, as it should be. But also consider, if you will, the delivery of a line. The performance of an actor, aided perhaps by a suggestion from the director, adds dramatically to the legacy of a movie quote. Imagine, for example, how different number 50 would be if you had delivered the line. Think about that as we continue the countdown. I hear rumor I'm on the list again, as AFI's 100 Years, 100 Movie Quotes continues here on CBS. I think some people have a bit possessive about their favorite Bond. People like me think Connery was the best and there'll never be another Bond. Other people love Pierce Brosnan, other people love Roger Moore. We've all grown up with Bond. Bond has spanned all of us. Bond. James Bond. My name's Bond. James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Bond, James Bond. My name's Bond. James Bond. Bond, James Bond. Roger Moore was going to leave them, which he said he was, and that was when I got involved with them and, and tested for Bond. Breakfast for one at nine, please. Green figs, yogurt, coffee, very black. Thank you. 
He was everything that was masculine, that was elegant, that was classy. He took chances. He was an adventurer. He's everything that I wanted to be. No, no, no. No more foreplay. And then there were ten. As Betty Davis once said, fasten your seatbelts. Oh, Pierce, again, we're not there yet. Uh, sorry, sorry. I just tend to get carried away. Here they are. Hopeful and threatening, heartbreaking and romantic. These are the lines you must know to speak the English language fluently. And though we may toss them off without consciously thinking about it, one never truly forgets that they came from the movies. But we do give a damn, don't we? because we love the movies. They give us a common language, a language that embodies emotion, captures a time, and yet is timeless. Remember this. As we carry these movie memories into tomorrow, for they are the stuff that dreams are made of. Sweet dreams to you, and good night.